It's the most epic plant tube collaboration on Bloom and Grow YouTube show. Well, hello, plant friends. Welcome to the Bloom and Grow YouTube channel. For those of you who might be new, I am Maria, the founder and host of the Bloom and Grow radio podcast and YouTube channel. You can find me on Instagram as well, and it is my goal to help everybody in the world successfully care for one plant, because I think if you can care for plant, it makes you a kinder person, and you'll bring that kindness into the world and make the world a kinder and greener place. So, the first way that I started communicating with the plant world was through my podcast, Bloom and Grow Radio, and last year I launched the Bloom and Grow YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for about a year, and I've learned a lot. YouTube is this wild world of all different types of people blogging about all different types of things. And there is this wonderful little corner called Plant Tube, Planty YouTube, where plant nerds like us can all convene to share our passion and learn from each other. And the Plant Tube corner of YouTube is growing. A lot of people are showing up on this platform with their own unique voices and sharing what they have to educate or show off to our community. So I thought it would be fun to put together a video showcasing that. I asked my community of listeners and plant friends on the internet who your favorite plant tubers were, and then I went and asked them if they would be open to sharing one of their planty growth tips for how to sow, grow, and nourish a YouTube channel. So if you are interested in maybe joining the plant tube community, or if you're just curious about how plant tube works, this video is meant to educate and inspire you a little bit and also show off these amazing plant tubers who are helping us all become greener, happier people. So we've got 12 amazing tips from 12 amazingly planty, wonderful humans that I can't wait to bring to you. So let's get to them. Hello, Bloom and Grow Radio. My name is Betsy and my channel name is Betsy Begonia. I started my YouTube channel because I really enjoyed watching videos about houseplants on YouTube and I needed a creative outlet and I really liked the idea of challenging myself and trying to take seemingly boring subjects like houseplant history or soil and potting mix or treating houseplant pests and kind of giving it a funny twist. I just really wanted to reach out to my community and connect with them by making them laugh. As for advice that I give people who are starting YouTube channels or plant tube channels, I always tell people just start with what you've got. If you have a smartphone or if you have a point and shoot cam, don't invest in really expensive equipment when you're just starting out. If your content is interesting and you're passionate about your niche, it will shine through. People will watch your content. It doesn't matter if you shoot it on a potato. If people like what you're doing and what you're putting out, they will watch your YouTube channel. The second thing that I always tell people is that good lighting is essential. If you just spend an hour of your life researching lighting for vlogging or lighting for YouTube on the internet, you're going to be able to improve the appearance of your setup and everything vastly. Even if you're shooting on a smartphone, people think that they need to invest in a really expensive fancy camera or they need to buy lights immediately when in reality, you can just stand in front of an open window and it's going to improve everything times 10. The third thing that I always tell people is do it. You just got to do it. You have to become involved in your project. The only way to learn and to evolve is by doing it. So you can sit around, you can make lists, you can think about it, you can come up with lots of ideas, but you have to actually get in front of the camera and start doing it in order to learn. Whenever I'm feeling a little unmotivated or lacking in creative spirit, I just think about what Amy Poehler said in her book, Yes, Please. You do it because the doing of it is the thing. The doing is the thing. The talking and the worrying and the thinking is not the thing. So you gotta stop thinking about it and just do it. You know, you might not find your individual voice or your particular twist on a niche when you first begin, but that will only come through practice and dedication and by doing the thing. It doesn't come through buying a fancy new camera or sitting around and writing lists or coming up with creative ideas. It only comes by doing this. Well, well that's, that's it. Hi there, my name is Nick and welcome to a snippet of my YouTube channel, which is named after yours truly, Nick Pileggi. And the only thing you will find on my YouTube channel is videos about houseplants and nothing else because quite frankly, I don't have anything else to talk about. So my tip for the aspiring houseplant YouTuber is to take notes from other corners of YouTube or the internet overall. When I first got started with houseplant YouTube, it was about three years ago and it was kind of the wild west of YouTube. 
there wasn't really anything other than houseplant tour videos, which was kind of a riff off of apartment tour videos that some vloggers were doing, just kind of sharing the spaces where they lived, a tour of their apartments. So from there, we kind of had to take notes from other corners of YouTube and make our own type of videos for our corner of the internet. So we're doing houseplant hauls, which were kind of a riff off of like thrift store hauls or makeup hauls. And we were doing houseplant unboxings, which was kind of like those horrifying eBay mystery box unboxings that people were doing. And from there, it kind of just started to work itself into place. So my tip for you is to find something from another corner of the internet that is really exciting to you that hasn't yet been brought into our planty corner of the internet and bring it in because from there you could really get off the ground running. What's up dirty plant hoes and all you dirty plant enthusiasts out there. Hello to Maria. My name is Rachel Carter and my plant channel's name is Heart Shaped Leaves. I started my channel about a year ago this week because I just wanted to document my plant journey. I found a couple of very inspirational plant tubers early on in plant collecting and it inspired me to start my own channel. What you can expect to see on my channel is a lot of begonias, philodendrons, aeroids in general. Also, I make a lot of videos with my husband, Casey, and he is a cutie patootie, and he's very funny. And we also have a couple of puppers too. And uh, we just like to have a really good time. We just like to have a good time. Probably not the most scientific channel, but we have a good time. My biggest growth tip for any aspiring plant tuber out there is just to do what you love. Figure out what it is specifically about plants that you love and do that. A lot of times it's easy to get caught up in what you think people want to see and what you think people want from you and it can get really confusing right off the bat. So if you just keep it simple and stick to what you love, enthusiasm is contagious. So just remember that and be brave because there's nothing you can do about your face. So just put it out there you might have a good time. Hey guys, my name is Christian and I love plants. My channel name is Crazy Plant Guy and I started my YouTube channel a couple years ago for a few reasons. One, I definitely wanted to uh, build my confidence and get over the fear of being judged and criticized. Believe it or not, there was a point in my life where I was very insecure and very conscious of what people thought about me. So I figured if I put myself out there for the YouTube community and for the world to see, I can face that fear head on and uh, just get over it, right? So uh, in the course of two years, uh, you know, I got over that fear and it has allowed me to not only build my confidence on YouTube, but also in my personal life. So that's definitely uh, a motivator in why I started my channel. Another reason as well is I was very curious and interested in how the algorithm on the platform works in terms of growing your audience and uh, growing your channel, uh, as well as obviously express yourself creatively. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. In terms of the content, you know, when I first started my channel, I wasn't sure uh, what the content I wanted to put out there because I had so many interests in life and uh, like I still do today obviously so when I first started I had like a, a sneaker uh, video some reaction videos <laughs> and plant videos obviously but uh, eventually I uh, you know I fell out of love with uh, sneakers and fell more in love with plants so it became more of a uh, plant channel even though I love plants I'm not a plant expert by any means so a lot of my content is just you know simply me sharing kind of my personal experience and journey so far as a plant parent. Uh, so you'll find a lot of like houseplant haul videos, houseplant tour videos, how to care for plants, you know, repotting, propagation. I love propagating plants. I think it's one of my favorite things to do. And uh, all the trials and success and tribulations that comes with being a plant parent. For those of you guys who want to start your own YouTube channel, you know, a few of my advice to you guys is one, create content that is engaging from start to finish. So that way when someone lands on your video, you know, that retention rate or that watch rate is really high. It is one of the signals that triggers your videos to be pushed out by the algorithm. Another one I would say is understand and learn how SEO works and optimize your videos to make sure it's found on the search engine because at the end of the day, YouTube is a search engine. It's the second largest search engine next to Google. Uh, so things like making sure that your title has keywords, that your description has keywords, but be mindful of your description to not be spammy with all these keywords. You wanna still make it sound natural. You know, your tags obviously has keywords. And even the way you save the file after editing, you know, make sure that you have your keyword on that file name. Uh, but yeah, those are some of the tips I would say when it comes to uh, growing your YouTube channel. Hey guys, I'm Nicole and my YouTube channel is My Clean Leaves. I'm so excited to be here on Bloom and Grow Radio's YouTube channel. I absolutely love this channel and I think it has so much great info. So thank you, Maria, for having me. My YouTube journey with plants began in January of 2019. I started it because I started really getting into the house plant. <sighs> 
obsession. I started watching other YouTubers creating amazing videos and I kept thinking, I love plants so much, I could totally do this and share my love for plants with the rest of the plant community on YouTube, on Instagram, everywhere. And I started my channel and I started with some un unboxing videos, some little projects. I think I've come a long way in regards to recording. <laughs> Over the past year, I feel like I've grown so much and this community is absolutely the best community to be a part of. Everybody's so sweet and I am so happy I took that plunge into YouTube because it's opened up opportunities for me to meet other plant tubers in the plant community and build some really close friendships that I have to this day. Some things you can see on my channel are unboxings. I love to order plants online. A lot of stuff in regards to cactus. Cactus is my number one genus of plant. I absolutely love the cacti family. So I have over 50 species of cacti in my Chicago home. <laughs> A lot of people don't understand how I could keep them alive, but go watch my channel to find out. <laughs> I do talk about a lot of other things, a lot of other plant types though. It's not just all about cacti. Uh, I do do repottings. I do some fun stuff with my kids, some stuff with my husband. I like to go live every Thursday night and talk to you guys and my subscribers about what's been happening the past week, what to expect on my channel and just kind of hang out with you guys. So that's some stuff you can expect on my channel. If you're looking to dive in to the world of YouTube, one tip I would recommend is to make your thumbnails really stand out. Create a look for yourself that intrigues people to click on that video and watch your video. Try to keep a consistent look throughout your thumbnails as well. If you look at any of your favorite YouTubers channels, you can kind of see that for the past few months, there's been a consistent flow of thumbnails, maybe even over the past couple of years. Uh, you can see that there's been a consistent flow to the design of it, to how they look. Um, they may be in the thumbnail, they may not be. I don't think that that's necessarily important but just to create something that's gonna stand out. What people don't understand, I think, in the beginning is that a thumbnail is what's essentially gonna draw new subscribers to your channel. So you really want it to, to draw someone's attention in so that they click on that video and then they wanna watch other videos of yours and essentially end up subscribing to your channel. If you see here, I'll insert some thumbnails of mine from the past few months. I kind of redid my design uh, when we went into the new year. I kind of wanted a different look and that's okay. If you're not feeling what you're doing now, if you've already dived into YouTube and you wanna switch it up, switch it up. Just make sure that it'll pull a customer in. Um, I still feel like I have some work to do when it comes to designing my thumbnails, maybe some other programs I could possibly use. But for now, I really like this look. I like the consistency of my look and I have been gaining quite a few new subscribers every single day. So I think it's working and that would be my one tip to you if you're looking to dive into the world of YouTube or if you're already here and you're trying to grow your channel a little bit more. Hello, my name is Harley and my channel is Harley G. I guess the reason I started my channel is all growing up, my friends and I used to really like making little skit videos with each other and that kind of translated into adulthood. Uh, but in the form of plants. So that's why I make plant videos now. And it's a great way to build community and bond with other people over a shared interest. So I guess that's kind of why. And what my channel is mostly about is houseplants. Uh, but I do also mix in a bit of like regular day-to-day lifey stuff as well, but it is like 90% plants. My number one growth tip for somebody wanting to start a channel and grow that channel would be to post what you yourself would like to see. First and foremost, if you're posting a video and you can't watch it yourself, you're getting bored or something, anything along those lines, then chances are other people are going to feel the same. So yeah, just be sure it's something that you're able to watch within reason. It's kind of hard to watch ourselves on a camera, but also it's really easy to get caught up in what everybody else is doing and posting. If you're watching videos and you think, hey, I wish somebody would post about this topic and talk about it this way or do it like this style, if that pops into your head as you're watching videos, 
go ahead and try doing that yourself because odds are other people are having those same thoughts and would like to watch it the same way you would, if that makes sense. You will be able to find an audience of people who enjoy watching that same kind of content you thought you would like to see. And then I guess if you're doing that, then everything else is going to follow. Without getting too far into it, watch time is the number one most important thing for growing a channel. It's the way YouTube kind of categorizes what videos people are really loving. Yeah, just post what you really want to see and topics you would really like to watch. Hi there, my name is Adam and my YouTube channel is Not Dude. I started my YouTube channel in a period of life where I was in a transition. I had uh, a lot of stuff on my mind, but also a lot of creativity, and I just needed some place to focus that creativity, and YouTube turned out to be that place for me. It kind of just all happened at this perfect point in time, but YouTube for me has been this amazing place where I can focus some of my passions, which is video editing, video filming, uh, and plants. On my YouTube channel, you will find right now all the planty goodness. There's plant unboxings to plant collections to plant care. All of that stuff is on my channel, and I plan to continue to doing that because this is what the channel started as, was a plant channel. And while I do want to mix in some videos here and there, some fun videos, some challenge videos, and even maybe some vlogs down the road, travel vlogs, etc., uh, the main focus of my YouTube channel is plants. My tip for growing your YouTube channel is to set yourself apart from the rest of the people in your field. In this wonderful digital age that we live in, we all have cell phones and we all have the capabilities to shoot a quick video, to edit it and upload it. And I love that about all of this information so readily available to us. But I think to grow your channel, I think to continue to be relevant and to captivate an audience, learning how to step up your production value is a must. And there are so many facets to the production value. There's sound, there's lighting, there's filming equipment, there's editing, all of it. I would suggest that you take the time to learn little by little in each of these categories, starting with sound. And in my opinion, sound should be your number one focus when you start your YouTube channel. People can forgive a uh, low quality video, but they cannot forgive low quality audio. There is something about it that if we're listening to audio that's just bad or sounds muffled or staticky, we instantly have to just stop listening. So I would highly suggest figuring out whether that's a lavalier mic that you put on your shirt that's connected to your camera or you have a shotgun mic like I have here. There's tons of different options out there. Research them and find what works best for you in your setup and get a good quality microphone. The next thing is lighting. For me, lighting was a must because I have a full-time job and I could only shoot videos at night. So I didn't have the availability of natural light and I needed to figure out how to light my videos for a budget-friendly price and get a good quality look. And I think I've accomplished that and that was something I was really having a lot of fun learning how to do. I was watching a ton of tutorials on how to light setups and how to utilize what I had in my home, like this hair light that's shining on my hair and body over here. That's a grow light because I had one and it works and it does its job. So figure out what you can use at home, maybe what you need to purchase. This entire setup for my lighting is under $300, and that does seem like a lot of money, but that's what I needed to invest in first for me because I could only film at nighttime. And the last thing I'll say about production is just learn how to use your camera. I know that all of these cameras are amazing. Every camera that you buy nowadays has an auto function. It works perfectly, but I, would say learn how to operate your camera in manual mode, learn how to operate your phone's video camera in manual mode. There's apps out there you can download on your phone to give you that control to open up those manual settings. If you understand how to get a well-exposed shot by using your camera in manual, then you will never run into a situation where you're having trouble with your lighting, where something's backlit or something 
isn't looking right or something's not well exposed, you won't run into that because you'll know how to fix it. Now, I know learning manual mode for your camera isn't what everyone loves to do. I, <laughs> I love to do that, but I know that's not everyone's cup of tea and that's okay, but I do think it's important to understand how to operate your camera, how to operate your phone on manual. So that is my tip for growing your YouTube channel. Focus on production, set yourself apart. If you are wanting to start a channel, if you aspire to start a channel, do it because there is room for everybody. There is voices that need to be heard. Don't let yourself get in your own way. Hello, Bloom and Grow Radio YouTube friends. My name is Becca from the YouTube channel Becca De La Plants, and I'm so glad that we're all getting to hang out with you today. I started my YouTube channel in January 2019, actually as a New Year's resolution. So I had always wanted to start a YouTube channel about something, but I didn't feel like there was anything in my life that was interesting enough. And then I discovered the entire world of houseplants on YouTube and felt like that could be my contribution to YouTube and the plant world. My channel is built upon the foundation of just wanting to share the love of plants with everybody around me. So my channel has a nice mixture of educational plant videos, plant DIYs, plant repottings, and all that kind of fun stuff. Basically just sharing with you guys my experience in life with my house plants. And the tagline of my channel is your plant friend next door. And I really try to embody that community and friendship aspect in all of my videos. For all of you who are wanting to start a planty YouTube channel, there are so many things that I could tell you. I mean, this video is already jam packed with awesome information, but what I will tell you is to create videos that will age well. This doesn't only apply to subject matter, but really what you want to do is set yourself up so that you can be easily found on YouTube. In order to do this, you need to have a good understanding of how search engine optimization works. There are so many videos on YouTube that will teach you all about this. If you spend time learning how to be a YouTuber on the back end, you will see growth on the front end. And in addition to that, you want to make sure that you are creating videos that are searchable and videos that you would search for yourself. So in order to do this, you can look at your own YouTube search habits, things that you look up, things that you are curious about, things that you want to learn. By making videos that you are interested in, you would search for and you would watch, you will definitely bring in the views and therefore the subscribers and the community that you hope for. The plant community on YouTube is such a beautiful place to be with so many wonderful people and I truly believe that we have only started to scratch the surface of what it will become. Hey everyone, I'm Daryl and my channel is Houseplant Journal. I started my channel as a way to document my houseplant hobby and also as a way to visit other people who also like houseplants. So you can expect to see lots of houseplant tours. I also do videos on where I explain different concepts. That's where the tagline bringing you clarity on houseplant care comes from. And I've also been filming my Instagram live sessions and uh, cutting those up and posting those on YouTube too. This is my growth tip. I guess you want to find a good balance between making videos that are fun for you to make but also making videos that are discoverable. So if you happen to, let's say, get a question over and over again, you should just make a video about it. And I think also posting on a consistent basis is good. Although I'm probably not a very good example of that because I took almost like a two year hiatus on my channel and only now I'm starting to come back to it. Okay, that's all I got. Hi, my name is Sharina Talada, also known as Sharina Talada here on YouTube. And I started my channel because just like you, I really started getting into plants. I share this story all the time on my channel that the very first day I got that spark of inspiration to basically make my home into a rainforest, jungle. I went to Home Depot and bought about 10 to 12 plants that I knew absolutely nothing about. So in order for me not to kill them, I went to the library, I attended Google University to just learn each and everything I can and it then led me to YouTube, which then led me to meeting some of these amazing people that are on this video here today. They were so inspiring, they just shared so much about what they knew and I pretty much just wanted to do the same thing. I was also at a point in my life where I just needed something to be excited about, needed a hobby, needed to be creative, you know, not just going to work and going home. So in my channel, you can expect a lot of the things about plants that I am excited about, where to find them, plant shopping, which, you know, hopefully we'll be doing soon, my favorites, 
styling, just everything that makes me happy and makes me feel good when it comes to plants. So if you're out there and you've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel, whether it be about plants or anything else that you love and is wanting some advice, this is gonna be a little cliche, okay? So don't come for me, but just be authentic. Be authentically you. Nobody can say it like you. Nobody can do it like you. So do you, be you, times two. <laughs> Not really sure what I was going for there, but here if you need me, good luck and I'll talk to you soon. Hey plant people, my name is Gerard. My channel is Gerard's Horticulture Culture. When you if you care to look at my channel, it's about plant care, plant community, and I like to make it a little fun. Um, I like the video edit, so you just won't get me all the time. I like to just throw things in there, here and there, just to make it a little exciting. Why I started the channel is because uh, I do like to film. I like, I've always had a camera in my hand, a camcorder in my hand since high school. And why I started my channel is because I was desperately seeking a passion. Uh, everybody has been talking about passion. What are you passionate about? And over the years, about, I would say two years ago, I was desperately seeking a passion. I really didn't know what it was. And uh, it was growing right in front of my face as I was bringing plants in. And it was like an uncontrollable desire to get more plants. So I put two and two together and it started growing in my living room, taking over my living room, taking over this room that you see behind you and in multiple rooms in my house. So it just blew up right in front of my face and I, there was no stopping it. Uh, and then combined with plants, it's almost like Voltron coming together and with the powers of YouTube and the powers of editing software, I'm able to just make a mix of just great things when I document and film my plants, the highs and the lows, because there's ups and downs and, you know, plants change every day. And I've been pretty good at keeping plants alive. So it's good to look back on my journey and YouTube gives you an inside on me sharing my journey with you. So that's the great thing about YouTube. You're able to share knowledge together and a growth tip that I would, uh, suggest to an aspiring plant tuber is basically just get out there and do it jump off that cliff because you'll build a plane on the way down it's not that hard it's not that difficult you just got to take that first step and keep going um the plant community is great there's not a lot of trolls out there um just follow your heart and like i said just be open to learning and it, I don't think you'll do that bad. It's, it's really not that difficult. Hey plant friends, my name is Pam and my YouTube channel is called Pam's Pretty Plants. I started my channel for a few reasons. I mean, first of all, I wanted to spare my poor family from my endless yammering on about plants. And then of course there's my lifelong insatiable need for attention. But mostly I was in a super transitional time in my life. I had just lost yet another job. Not super good at having a boss. And I had recently finished college and I just had no creative outlets. And I'm like a puppy. If I don't have mental stimulation all day long, I am going to chew holes in the walls. So in an effort to basically not go crazy, I decided to start a YouTube channel and I'm so glad I did. The walls are safe. So what can you find on my channel? Well, we've got geeky plant info, inside and outside plant content, stupid challenges, big sister pep talks, Unboxings in halls, unwavering support for the proletariat, unrelenting New England sarcasm, the joy and pain of keeping hundreds of plants alive while being generally poor at keeping myself the same. Okay, so let me give you some practical growth tips for growing your own YouTube channel. My advice is going to start off sounding really stupid, but bear with me. It's kind of how I roll. Don't forget there's another human being on the other side of your video. I told you it was going to sound stupid. Because our channels are literally grown by the people who choose to spend their time with us, we owe them a little bit of respect. And I think that manifests mostly in two areas. That is respect of their time and respect of their trust. When I say respect their time, I mean make sure that your videos are edited. Nobody really wants to listen to dead air or ums and ahs epic length intros. If it takes you a really long time to get to the point or you're using a lot of clickbait, 
people just are not gonna click on your videos and if they do, they're not gonna stay and that's not what you want, obviously. And most importantly, you need to respect their trust. You can spend months, even years, building trust with an audience and smash it all to pieces with one shady sponsorship. Oh, I could go on forever about the shady sponsorships. So that's what I mean about keeping the humanity on the other side of the screen really upfront when you're making YouTube content. Remember what you're there for. You're there to express yourself, of course, and that should be the most important thing at the end of the day. But if you do want followers, respect their time, respect their trust, and don't give up if it happens for you slowly. We all have to start somewhere, and the most important thing is that you started. And if you didn't start, what are you waiting for? Go, go on. Okay. Wait, dude, watch the rest of the video first. Okay, okay. And last but not least, we circle back to me. So I'm Maria from the Bloom and Grow Radio podcast and the Bloom and Grow YouTube show. And I started the YouTube channel because I really wanted a visual accompaniment to my podcast, which is all audio. I love that with podcast, I feel like podcasting is a very intimate platform. I'm in your earbuds. We have a very special, I have a very special relationship with my listeners, but plants are so visual and I wanted a way to give my listeners and our community a visual way to engage with the content that I was sharing. So on my channel, you'll find a lot of accompaniment videos. Um, we do a Begonia 101 episode and then we do a Begonia unboxing, an African Violet episode and African Violet unboxing. And I'm also able to connect with so many fun different plant people doing tours of their spaces, tours of greenhouses, and I'm showing you behind the scenes of what I have been doing in my apartment full of 150 houseplants. And I show you hacks on how I actually make that happen. If I had to give a tip, something that I've learned in my journey on YouTube, I think always say yes to the opportunity. Um, sometimes people just will invite me to go see a greenhouse or invite me to go check out their airplane collection and I've never regretted saying yes uh, as long as it's been a safe opportunity. And number two, leverage your different social media platforms. So I think if you wanna grow, if you have a platform on Instagram, share your YouTube videos on Instagram and promote your channel that way. And then in your YouTube channels, promote your Instagram. That way people can find you across different channels like I also promote the YouTube show on my podcast and vice versa. So you're constantly kind of sending different follower, you're turning followers into listeners and listeners into subscribers and subscribers into watchers and everybody is just getting educated left and right and it's a really cool way to make sure that your content and your help is reaching as many people as humanly possible. And if this video has taught me anything, it's try and collaborate with people. Whether you're on Instagram and you're wanting to do a giveaway, whether you wanna try and make a video with some of your plant friends on your YouTube channels, maybe you wanna do a cross-channel promotion or a cross-media platform promotion like I did with the podcast and YouTube, people are always looking to connect in this plant space and if you can come up with a really fun idea, I would have a feeling that people would wanna participate. So I hope that this video brought you you some inspiration. I hope you walk away and take one actionable step from one of the amazing tips that you've heard from all these plant tubers and make sure that you go and subscribe to everyone. Click the links below in the show notes. I have links to all of these amazing plant tubers. Go check out their channels. Go subscribe. Of course, make sure you're subscribed to the Bloom and Grow YouTube show and check out the Bloom and Grow Radio podcast. And you can also find me on Instagram at Bloom and Grow Radio. And until next time, my sweet plant friends, keep blooming and keep growing. Do 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 do